Hello and welcome to another update and today we are testing 2020.36.11 which is the big update that actually stops for traffic lights and uh, stop signs so but uh, let's find out what else is new in terms of autopilot Now, as usual, we start with the Hillcrest. And uh, yeah, let's see if there's any improvement on the downward section there. Probably nothing noteworthy at the top here. That's been going good for ages now. But what about the missing lane line here? Yeah, very slight deviation, but a little bit less than uh, what Autopilot 2 was doing. So yeah, that seems like a consistent minor improvement. Now what should also be new in this update is the fact that it slows down for roundabouts. So we're coming up on a tiny roundabout here. Let's see if it slows down and what it does after that. So hopefully the car in front of me is gone. Yeah, it is slowing down. It is slowing down. Okay. And it is trying to take... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, no. <laughs> that was too much. It is trying to take the roundabouts. That's the very first time that I actually had a roundabout where it went further than just drive onto it and straight into it. Nice. Now it's also cool to see that it actually reads the arrows on the ground. Now in the past couple of days I've had some uh, hiccups with that as well. That it thinks the arrow is in the opposite direction. Or for example on the highway we have these uh, V-shapes that are being used for truck drivers to gauge their distance from the truck in front of them. Um, it thinks that's an arrow as well. So yeah, there's uh, definitely some improvement there as well, but it's uh, impressive how well it actually does it in most cases. Up ahead we have a traffic light and the car should stop automatically for it. Yeah, so stopping for traffic control. Of course, there's a car in front of us. Uh, it would have stopped either way but it shows the stop line as, uh, as a red line. It uh, accurately reads the traffic lights from here. But let's see what it does when it turns green. It pings because I turned it on. I said I did not access it. Yeah, so I have to press on the throttle or uh, pull once on the stock for the car to actually go even through a green light. So that's the first stage uh, that we are facing now. The car seeks confirmation. Am I correct that this is now a green light? Now the stopping for the traffic light that also works when you are on regular cruise control. So you don't have to be on autopilot. So right now I'm first in line and the car will actually hopefully stop at the mark. Thought for a second the light was green, so it can't see the light up, but now it's not reacting because it sees a light above me and thinks that light is specifically for my lane. And because it couldn't determine the color, I didn't get the ping to go ahead and uh, claim that it was green. Now I will do a separate video on the traffic light recognition because I know some places where there's definitely a challenge for the car to recognize it. Now since the car is slowing down for traffic lights and stopping for them, is it also slowing down for this curve? Let's find out. Will it actually slow down? Nope. 
doesn't seem to be doing that no and it is going over the center line here again to the middle beeping at the person that is a lot faster when it uh, I've had a couple of beeps at a person that was still pretty far away whereas in uh, autopilot 2.0 I've never had a beep at a person as long as I had the, the hardware now let's see how the double exit taking fares is it still as smooth as it was on the previous update yeah and a slight correction but a lot less than with autopilot 2 so that is definitely somewhat smoother than it was now let's see what it does with the second exit here yeah that was a bigger correction but the initiation of the exit taking that was definitely a lot smoother than what it used to be now currently with the sun directly in front of me the car is having a little bit of a problem keeping the center of the lane I get the impression that you see those two tar marks or lines that uh, it thinks those are the lane markings instead of the dashed lines so um, yeah that definitely needs some improvement as well because if you want to go to FSD full self-drive then you will have conditions such as these where the Sun is directly blinding the cameras and the cameras need to be not blinded at that point of course now here we are again at the double exit taking I'm driving a little bit slower to keep some distance from the cars in front of me let's see if I now start to accelerate hopefully that guy won't cut in let's see how it fares in this update yeah that starts out smooth small correction what's it going to do here still driving straight on for too much and I do blame the UNEC regulation for that but here uh, let's see there's no car behind me this time so I can let the car do its thing and see where we end up will it take the exit it's going whoa but it is taking the exit but then again it was aborting immediately so yeah you could say that's an improvement but yeah the screaming of the car is not that good of course okay we are coming up on another traffic light and let's see if it changes color you can say yes I want to move ahead it's still stopping I'm pulling the stalk to say I want to move ahead and the car is refusing to do that which is awesome because otherwise you would be violating the law of course I also like the way how the stop line is red when it will stop and it turns green only when I activate that I want to go through with it so yeah that I really like in the visualization of the car so up ahead we have the lane shift and I was leaving a gap because the car in front of me were stuck in front of the red light but let's see now if I can accelerate what it will do oh I really like this this is what I would call buttery smooth the steering is ever so slightly and it's taking two times the inside of the curve and yeah it's it's the way that I drive it so I really really like this part of the update 
So let's see, activate autopilot. Sticking to the right side, moving away from the cars a little bit. Taking the middle, taking the right. Yeah, it is taking the right side of the road. It's a little bit better than what it used to be, or in the previous update, I mean. Let's see here. Yep, I can continue, no car. It's taking a little bit too much the middle of the road here. Accelerating a little bit again. I'm hoping to be able to let it do its thing on that little uh, plateau in the middle, that divider. Slowing down for this street here. Yep, okay. And we are at 30 kilometers an hour, which is what I last tested. Is this any better? It is going, no, no. I can't risk it. It would scratch my rims probably, or maybe just miss it by a few millimeters, but I'm not going to risk that. It was moving too close to um, the, the edge. Okay, conclusion time. So what do I think about this update? Well, first of all, in general, I think it's amazing. Um, the stopping for traffic lights that is working for like let's say 80% 90% of the time already and it's it's really good but as said I will do a separate video because I know of few places where it still has some troubles and I want to do some specific tests on different combinations of, uh, of traffic lights and see how the car reacts to it now, of course it is a work in progress and uh, this is a first version that actually stops there and I think it's amazing to have that level of autopilot driving so all the arguments about autopilot is only meant for highway right now those are totally not valid anymore traffic lights are being recognized stop signs are being recognized besides that that lane shift is buttery smooth and I really really like that but the s-curve that still needs work and I can't think of a reason why it wouldn't slow down before that curve there. Um, other than that, exit taking still smooth in the first uh, part but there is a slight correction in the second part. It was able to take that second exit um, on that second attempt but then disabled autopilot completely which is, as I mentioned, kind of an improvement because it went further than in the previous update but the disabling should not take place, of course. And then for yeah, the roundabout. I was amazed at how good it actually can take that roundabout. Um, I'm going to find a couple of other roundabouts in the area, see which one is the best. Preferably, I need one where it's almost capable of taking it because then if there's any improvement it will be able to take it completely and finally uh, it was again able to drive almost all the way until the end where the lane markings disappear altogether so that is definitely an improvement from the last update but with that divider in the middle I was afraid it was going to scratch my rims so I didn't have the nerve to actually let it handle it maybe it would have worked maybe it wouldn't but if it wouldn't, it would have been a costly decision. So I wasn't prepared to take that one. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. And while you're at it, why not support the channel by looking at our new web shop and getting yourself one of the cool, nice t-shirts that I created any contribution is of course very much appreciated and helps support the channel. And for now, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.